Hoi Maud. Hoi Bart. Hoi Manu. Hey, I timed that perfectly. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Fade the game music, reckon. Hi, nerds. How y'all doing? I have literally finished work like 10 minutes ago but wasn't too bad today nice easy day so we are back to like seducing pigeons and stuff hi Dave, hi Manu, hi Bart, hi Maud so yeah we're, we're gonna continue our attempts to seduce the nerd bird today How are you all doing? 
you all been up to today? Been interesting or we all had easy days? Still not right. Ouch. Right. I have all my shit together. Let's go. I can remember what I've, uh, I'm doing to fix all this stuff now. I was through the pigeon sound, wasn't it? Oh, I can't remember how I, how I did it now. Music might be a bit loud, I can turn it down a bit. gone. I finally got bored of it so it's gone. Right. Uh, yeah most people were just like ignoring it now so may as well just get rid of it. Right. Um, right. Gonna prepare myself for doing pigeon noises again. <laughs> <laughs> Orkasan is always having fun. Ryuta. Yup, yup. Sakuya. What is this fun? Kazuaki. Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir. Focus. <gasps> We're on the second term. But splendid and great academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Let's go. Uh, is that a student ID? Who is it? Someone from two two? Not a name I recognise. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do right. Sir! Sir! Oh. Hello, Trouble. Did you forget to turn in your homework? Found someone's ID card, sir. Someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Trouble. I can take care of it. What is it? Nothing, just... Did you find this today, right? Actually a bird? Oh yeah, our first name is actually a bird. Yes, in the corridor, just outside. Shooting has been out since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it. It's awfully clean though, shouldn't be at least a bit dusty. Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, actually a bird. Look at that charisma stat, 25. 
No, no, I didn't. I didn't, Dave. Shut up. Shut up. Ten. Uh, we doing music. We are pumping that charisma stat. Just like a bard in D and D, we want as high charisma as possible. Oh no, I forgot my recorder. Don't think we have any spares. Uh, I do have my Kishiriki priest. Could play that. Apparently, we can. Trouble leveled up, charisma increased by five. Good morning. What the heck is going on? Classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. Somebody getting in a fight. Somebody eviscerate a pillow or something. Ryuda, what? Wait, we didn't clean up properly yesterday. Yeah, man, we're going to be so popular. It's molting season, so... One little breeze and it looks like this, unless we make sure to keep everything clean. And look closely, Ryuta's head feathers are looking a little loose too. Guess everybody's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning everyone! So, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Shut up, Sakuya, nobody likes you. Oko-san! Wretched mongrel, can you not, not... Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? Come on. Arguing won't solve anything. It'd be easy if we all pitch in. Um, Depends on what kind of feathers they are. If they're pin feathers, definitely. Also, we swapped the room down before our room. <gasps> feathers. It's disgusting. How dare you. It's a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I bet we can make a nice pillow. It certainly is more than usual. Come in the window, perhaps? Eh? So, uh, did you uh, spill some chlorine on yourself? Chlorine? Don't use that kind of detergent. Um, you really smell like it. Oh, that would be the bleach. The bleach? So, are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? <laughs> no, the stuff I got stuck in the washing machine last night. Dangerous. Please be careful. Mm, yes, I'll. Uh... But anyway, he's going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. The Muppet just fell asleep in the washing room. Today is a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. <gasps> it's happening. They're going to be in maid outfits. Don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. Wonder if Nageki's in the library today. Probably. Go buy something and hang out with him. Yup, door's open. Nageki. Close it, please. I knew you'd be here. I could hear music like really, really quietly and I, I couldn't work out why. And I realised when I turned the intro music off, my playlist just carried on going, but really, really quietly. So I just stopped for a second then and heard really, really quiet Slipknot. I was confused for a second. Made our pets. The door, it's loud outside. Oh, sorry. Staying in here even today, it's almost like this is where you live. Is there something wrong with that? Oh, is he actually living in the library? 
Of course not, you're kind of like a friendly ghost or something. Reassuring to know you're here. Anyway, I brought you something. You're planning to stay here all day, right? I did. Cookies? Yep, the bird watching club was selling bird shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? I have some. Oh yeah, the perverts club, because they're a bird watching club at a bird school. Perverts. Hmm. Thanks. Hearing him thank me makes me very happy, even if it was in a whisper. He even looks a little happier than usual. There's a lot of other stuff too. The third years are doing a play, and one class put together a god tier haunted house. I was thinking of looking around a little more. Nageki, wanna come with me? No. Ah, straight out rejected. Yeah, peeping at the pigeons, they're a bunch of perverts. Oh no, he looks angry. I no thank you, go ahead if you want. Well, alright, sorry, I didn't mean to try and drag you out of here. I think he might actually live in here. Now that I think about it, I've never seen him anywhere else. Maybe he comes straight here as soon as he gets to school. Midterms are right around the corner. Ah, I got too excited for the festival and didn't study at all. I have to study it. Yeah, it was my history textbook. It's not on my desk. Oh, I was reading it in the library during lunch. Maybe it's still there. I'll go look. Sir? Welcome back, actually, a bird. Where are you going? I think I left something in the library. Do you know if the door is still open? Um, Somebody brought the key to staff room a few minutes ago, so I think it's locked now. I'll go there first then. Thank you, sir. Sneak into the scarf room. I was sitting over there. Here it is. Yay. Oh. Some birds written on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress. Oh, that's funny, but don't write on people's books. That's uh, kind of creepy. Don't leave books lying around with their pages to the four winds. <gasps> the geeky. What? Why are you so surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. Why not? Door was locked. Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. It was. I hadn't realised. Well, if it was an accident, then it's alright. Maybe. Geez, you're supposed to make sure there's nobody left inside before you lock the door. I think he's actually living here. He's got like a stash behind the bookshelves or something. Anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should. Go home with Nageki. Hey Nageki, let's go home together. No, thank you. Didn't even pause to think about it. Where'd you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Don't jump to... If I could, I'd... What? Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door. So just leave the key there. It's already reading again. I think I'm annoying him. He's hiding. Is what he's doing. Hiding away. Ah, my grade not looking good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. So I sat studying in the library, while one by one the other students file out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or not. My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you've sat down next to me, Nageki. He's doing it. I want to talk to you. You're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. 
No, talk away. I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss Actually a Bird. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's what this is the only place for me. And I forgot to turn off my notifications again. I always forget that shit. Yeah. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why. This is the only place for me. That's, that's terrible. Nageki, that's awful. Which class are you in? I'll talk to our teacher. I'm not done talking yet. Sorry, go on. I think I'm being bullied right. I thought that too. You're not? I don't think so, no. Being bullied might be better than this. Better than this? Then what is he? Not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I remember things sometimes, but it's still not enough. Is he a fucking ghost? Is he actually just a, like a ghost that haunts the library? Is that all this is? I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Actually a Bird, I think... I, I think I'm... Um... Actually a Bird, you're here late. Sir. School's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not on... Yeah? Huh? He's, he's a fucking ghost, isn't he? It's just... He, he, he's, that's how he disappears and appears so easily. He's a ghost. Did he leap out the window and go home ninja style? No. Got our finals back today between midterms and practice exams. This whole semester has been nothing but tests. Actually a bird. Sir. Getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think you're right, Dave. He's moaning well. He just haunts the library instead. Closing time already. Don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Depends how much of a ghost he is. I've seen Ghostbusters, I know what happens sometimes. Oh no, it's snowing. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard? I'd be risking my life. You're still here? No Geki. Book under his arm, the same as always. I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. Manu, Manu, I think he's a ghost. For now, I won't bring him up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Hmm, I guess I'll have to wait until it stops. Makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. Yeah, yeah, he like... He disappears constantly and appears out of nowhere. He was in the library when it was locked. The teacher just came to see us and thought we were on our own. Didn't see him at all. And he tried to tell us something. Like we thought he was being bullied. But he tried to say he thinks he's something else. I think he was trying to tell us he thinks he's dead. And that's why people don't talk to him and stuff. He makes a noise of agreement sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way. What are you reading? Dickens. Christmas. See? He's reading A Christmas Carol, which is about ghosts. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. Completely forgot... I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a white-out Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished. Yep, I just got to the bit where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. Sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it, even though you work here. I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist Scrooge sees that that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds like kind of science fictiony. 
I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It'd be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? Future is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all there is to it. So we enjoyed the present point in time, which we flowed. Nice way to spend Christmas, I think. January! The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. First day of the new year, looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. It'd be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from somebody. He'll buy an amulet and go home. Ryuta. Trouble! Ryuta's got like a little Sakura star. Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryuta? Sorry, what's that? What exactly what it looks like? I'm working here today. And tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. Came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Let on for... Mm, what do we want? Fulfillment in school? Fulfillment in art? Or fulfillment in conquest? Yeah, I'd be tempted to take the art one. We get art. Here you go. Thanks, Ryuta. You here all day today? Yep, first day is always busy. Oh well, I was going to ask you to get lunch together, but... Sorry, trouble, maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? The next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryota. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, actually, bud. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I've drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Which should I take? This one. Bob White Blessing. It's like a hawk. It's cool. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this would be a good year for you, actually, a bird. Thank you, sir. We're all wishing everybody a happy new year. Hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. Still hibernating, sir. Wake up. Oh. Uh, I said this before, but your junior will be over before you know it. Enjoy this time while it lasts. Nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Third term time. Well, splendid and gracious academy of the pigeon by the pigeon for the pigeon. Still light out. Maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wee. And tomorrow's legumen times? Or oh, is that Valentine's? Because it's like February. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, legumen times is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. No, nobody likes pigeons. That's why we'll do it. Here for beans, the kind of thing is particularly good. She has trended towards these bean medleys for races. But they are a little pricey, it's harsh to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Mm, it's true. Sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Millet! Everybody loves millet. It is true. Everybody knows. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. Preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. Almost empty as always.
Surprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. That bar is because you're not a bird. If you were a bird, it would taste nice. No. No, no, we, we, we have it well established that you are an egg, not a bird. What kind of egg, we don't know. But still just an egg. Almost empty as always. <laughs> Psycho bird. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honour of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. Few students here are holding around the heater, so Nageki should be... There you are, Nageki. Sitting in a frigid corner far from the meagre effects of the heater as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my devil sin? Cold here, are you okay, Nageki? I am fine. Yeah, because he's a ghost. Don't mind me, Miss Ashley, a bird. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's the human signs, you know. Here, foxtail millets. For me? Yep, I'm supposed to give beans the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes, thank you. Was happier than usual. Is it my imagination? See? Birds love millet. Works perfectly. I often ate these when I was younger. This brings back memories. Thank you, Miss Ashley the Bird. You're welcome, Nageki. Lots of requested books are coming in today. After work through lunch. So all these takes forever. Just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? It's a note on the help desk counter. Um, it's actually a bird. Be here after the other students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. Reads like a challenge to a samurai duo. How fitting. It's the first time he's approached me. Wonder what it's all about. Nageki, are you here? Nageki. Uh, yeah. Nageki. Hello, Miss Ashley Bird. Style me, how long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So, what did you need? I want to talk with you, Miss Ashley Bird. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think. Okay, I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Ashley, a bird. Mm hmm? Let's go outside. What? But he hates going outside. Come on. Stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go outside all of a sudden? should be happy but huh what's wrong you said you wanted to come out here stands in the doorway pushing against open air what are you doing mime watch walks back a little ways into the library and then runs forward crashing into the air the gecky what <laughs> eh? bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library that's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library after a while. I lose consciousness and wake up here again. So it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Ashley, a bird. Probably knows this too, while no one else does, talks to me. That's because... They can't see you. I'm the only one who can see you. Probably. I forgot why I was here. I came to be stuck in this place. Been alone here for years with no one to talk to. 
for years? Sense of time has broken. Look, he's see-through. Like, you can see books and stuff through him. He's a ghost, definitely. Sense of time is broken and cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had no partner but myself for so long, and suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. So I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. I killed... Ooh. So here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning meaninglessly each day the same as the last. Alone, forever. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. Yeah, this got a bit dark. I have no regrets. My choice to end my life here, after all. I think I will miss you. It's actually a bit... He's fading away. He's getting more and more see-through. If I wasn't like this, I would. Would have liked to talk to you more for longer. Nageki. Wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful. I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. The feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else. Nageki, maybe one day be able to leave. No. Why not? To talk to you, I changed. Didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back time I was never able to spend here. He's, he's getting more and more see-through. Never asked you to, but you religiously told me everything that was going on here. I feel like I've spent a full year at this school. And now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Yeki. His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I lock down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We, we've never talked like this before. Don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Ashley Bird. I'm long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... Just one thing I need to tell you before I go. Thing that I noticed. Secret that stops my clock. No, no, don't say it, Nageki. I, I filled up. I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear. It's actually a bird. I can't. Wow. So not only is he a ghost and now disappearing, it's entirely our fault. I still have so many things to tell you. Yeah, my mum dropped in to say hello. Already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret. Thank you. I love you. And then he's gone. <gasps> you came in right at the end, Beth. That's literally the end of it. So, uh, oh, you've been lurking for a while. It's not the whole game, Bart. There's like, it's like a choose your own adventure thing. So there's loads of different choices. But I'm only going to do the one playthrough. And we picked the most depressing one. So yeah, the nerd bird that we uh, decided to pursue in the library turned out to be dead. Turned out to be a ghost. And us being nice to him made him, like, complete his unfinished business and leave. It's cool, though. They put 
a lot of thought into this game. But I did not expect like a, a dark turn like that for the game. <laughs> Our kindness sent him to the far plane. Wonder what we get in the gallery and stuff. Or oh, we just get that for the ending. So we got ending number four. I'm guessing there's a lot of endings then. Many pages. So 4, 8, 12, 24, 25. The game's got like 25 endings. It's in the archive. <gasps> What's this? I'm feeling better since that nosy girl showed up. Don't think I will find any answers like this. Time it's time to close curtains. I am fulfilled just as I was back then. Back when? Back when. And then we've got... So that must be some of his, uh, his own writing then. There we go. Game finished. Quicker than I thought it would be as well. We did not actually have much left. So... I will be right back. I am gonna nip to the loo and grab another drink and then we'll find someone else to do. Um, BRB. Tell you what, I'll put songs on as well. <laughs> 